Hi everybody, I hope you had a wonderful summer, maybe unusual, but still a good summer. Uh, pick a couple of really good memories. We're gonna create a blanket, a quilt. Quilt is like a blanket made out of little pieces of fabric sewn in together. They're all different, they're all colorful. It's a very decorative design. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put your best memories in that blanket to make you feel good. Are you ready to start? We're going to divide our quilt into little pieces of fabric. We're going to divide it into three equal parts horizontally, approximately. You don't have to be exact. One, two, three. See, I'm a little off here. One, two, three. And we're gonna draw two lines as much. You can try to draw them straight. It's okay if they're not straight. We're still drawing fabric, so it's totally fine. We got it, divide it into three equal parts. Now we do, can do the same thing vertically. We're gonna divide it, this, this is gonna be, might be a little wider. Three equal parts, vertically. You can kinda try to measure it with your fingers. See, did I get it right? Maybe, almost. And we're gonna draw the line. Again, doesn't have to be perfectly straight. As straight as you could make it. And here's our quilt. How many pieces we got? Calculate. Now, we have beautiful design of rectangles. Now, what can you do? What kind of memories did you have this summer? I went to the beach and I saw beautiful turtles. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with a turtle. Each square could be a different design. It could be an animal, an insect, a plant, or maybe a geometric shape. You can alternate. So let's start with a turtle. I use geometric shapes to draw most of the things that I do draw. We're gonna draw the head. It's gonna be swimming. If it goes over, that's okay too. If it goes over your square or rectangle, that's okay too. So I got a turtle, I had a pretty design on the shell. Now, what else can I do? I'm thinking maybe fish. I saw really pretty fish in the ocean. Let's add some fish. Try to add every element should be a little different size. If the turtle is this large, maybe the fish is a little smaller. I don't want this everything to be the same size. Looks like they're almost talking to each other. You can add scales on the fish to make it more detailed. So we got a fish, maybe a little baby fish here. Maybe you, now what else can we do? I'm um, thinking I got two rectangles filled up. I saw a beautiful moon, so maybe I'll add a moon. Maybe, what else can I do? Um, this shapes could be just color. They don't even have to have any design if you don't want it to have. Maybe a cute jellyfish. Or an octopus. Now we got some of them filled up. Maybe a geometric design would be also nice. Now some of us stayed home this summer. Maybe we had a house. Now we got most of them filled up. What else would you like to add? Think about it. I would like to add maybe a geometric shapes. For example, it could be a cur curved line, any pattern, anything that repeats, if you remember, is a pattern. So if the line repeats, it becomes a pattern. We got one, maybe we'll do one more here. It's always nice to repeat your pattern. Maybe we'll draw more fish. They all talking to the turtle.
and maybe maybe another design what can we add maybe uh, circles any pattern will do maybe those are stars or bubbles coming from the water now let's add some color the way we're going to do that first we think about what colors do you want to add then you think can I repeat the same color remember we created patterns by repeating shapes circle 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 line 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 those are all patterns now can we add patterns with color yes we can for example if I choose to use yellow let me show you if I repeat color more than once it becomes a pattern have a look if my turtle is beautiful yellow I'm doing it with watercolors. You could use pencils, crayons, any materials you like. Now, where else I'm thinking, can I use yellow? I think I could use yellow here on the lines. So let's repeat the yellow. That becomes a pattern automatically. And it looks better. Your painting will always look better if you repeat the colors. We got three yellows here. I'm gonna continue and maybe give a make a fish yellow. It's gonna be a very cute yellow fish. Maybe this little one as well. Maybe they're friends or family. Now we're gonna add some yellow here on the stripes as well. One, every other stripe. Two and three. Now, you see that yellow already works beautifully here. I'm thinking, where else can I add yellow? Maybe a little bit of a, on that jellyfish, but I'm not gonna do too much. Now, I think it's plenty of yellow. That's probably enough. Now, let's move on to the next color. I'm thinking blue would work beautifully for the water. Now, this is my finished painting, my finished quilt. I hope yours looks even better. Have a look. I repeated shapes like circles to create a pattern. I repeated fish to create a pattern. I repeated lines to create a pattern. And I also repeated colors. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Orange, orange, orange. I hope you create many patterns and create a wonderful quilt. I'm looking forward to seeing it.